Topeka police officer Clarence L. Shields, who went by the nickname Boots, was shot to death 63 years ago this month atop the roof of the Moose Lodge in North Topeka. The two men responsible then served time in prison. This is Tim Wrencher, the history guy for CJ Online, talking about the 32-year-old Shields, who was married with two small children. Topeka police became concerned after they were unable to contact Shields as he patrolled in North Topeka during the early morning hours of April 11, 1955. They found his body on the roof of the Moose Lodge at 1901 North Kansas Avenue in an area where neighbors had reported hearing gunshots at 4.19 a.m. Meanwhile, 24-year-old Curtis Shoup had turned up at a Topeka hospital with a gunshot wound to the jaw. Shoup confessed that Shields had surprised him as he was breaking into the Moose Lodge through a ventilator shaft on the roof and that he had shot Shields once in the chest. Shields returned fire, hitting Shoup once. Police arrested Shoup and Albert Roy Miller, who had unsuccessfully tried to alert Shoup from the ground while serving as his lookout. Both men had criminal records. Authorities learned they had worked for a trucking firm Shields had owned on the side. 1,500 people attended Shields' funeral later that week as authorities announced they had connected Miller and Shoup to numerous burglaries. The Topeka Daily Capital shared those stories in articles published on either side of a photo of an atomic bomb test conducted that week in Nevada. Miller pleaded guilty to second-degree murder in Shields' death on November 7, 1955, and was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. Shoup pleaded guilty that same day to the first-degree murder of Shields and was sentenced to life in prison. In 1973, Shoup told the Daily Capital he had been paroled after serving 17 years in prison. He said he was working for a job therapy program and had dedicated his life to helping rehabilitate former inmates. This is Tim Wrencher, the History Guy for CG Online.